Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a quick overview of the brand new ThinkJosk 4.6 and as you can see I'm using my automation framework here to, to deploy uh, ThinkJosk as well. We can use it to deploy all flavors of Citrix provisioning services and so on. So what I'm going to define here is just the name of the Think client. So we're going to install Windows 7 and you, as you can see as the installation goes along it will automatically install Citrix Receiver HTX real time, uh, VMware view, and all other uh, applications that you would like to have in the system. And then finally, it uh, configure ThinJosk based on my unattended installation strings that you will find in, the, in this blog post. And when it's finished, we simply go and start ThinJosk, and that will automatically download the configuration from our ThinJosk broker. So it connects, and as you can see, we have some error messages here. The site is not trusted yet, but all this will uh, apply when we reboot the system. So let's restart. And as you can see, when it comes up again, it will automatically log in. And then it will show the uh, login page for Citrix Receiver. So ThinJosk is really nice for locking down uh, your computers or even redeploying computers with a default ThinJosk configuration. So I just select my desktop and it will automatically launch. Uh, there's a thing here with the HTX engine. I would really like to see that being fixed in the future so people don't get these kind of error messages and here I'm inside of the uh, ThinJosk console and as you can see we see the clients in my in my environment which ones are online and I get information on the clients which kind of version of Internet Explorer media play and so on and here as well I would like to get information about the HJS real-time connection What's cool that you can log off, restart, redeploy policies, and you can even do uh, remote control and update software. So if you get the uh, 4.7 version, we can simply uh, deploy the update from this console instead of redeploying the clients. So here is my default configuration. And as you can see, I have defined my production site URL to my storefront. But I'm also able to add uh, local application if you want those to appear as well in ThinJosk uh, to launch calculator, notepad, and so on. And we also have VDI integration with Citrix Receiver, Microsoft RDS, Horizon View, and so on. These features here is part of the uh, paid license, but there is also a, a free community edition where you just customize the XML file and, and publish those through. Uh, MDT for example as well so it's really cool